As the Skunk Works of Electric Aviation, it is very on brand for us to try lots of different things. We're iterating really quickly. Um, the Wright Flyer was not a commercial success of an airplane, um, but it was the first. And so we're understanding that because things are moving so quickly and there's so many unknowns, the only way to really be successful in completing the mission of Orbera Space is to uh, iterate. It's really hard to delineate what has an altruistic impact and what is self-serving. And so I think a lot of VVTOL companies, even the ones that are, are, are currently you know, paving the way successfully. Ultimately, if you say, so after they're finished, after they're done, after their mission is accomplished, they say mission is accomplished and they go home. What have they actually done? What have we actually achieved? And so the mission of Orb from the, from the onset was that when we say like mission accomplished, let's go home. We will have said, I got on my knees and then I got on my stomach and then I laid on the ground and I put the most, the, the just the, the hurting people of the world on my shoulders, on my back. I want to be able to say that when we say, you know, mission accomplished, let's go home, that anybody who needs access to aviation in the world's most difficult places knows that, that ORB can be their solace. ORB can be their catalyst. You can only be driven by one of two things, fear or love. And so we choose instead to be driven by love, love for the exercise of designing airplanes, the exercise of flying airplanes, the exercise of building a company, building a team that has character, and then finally the exercise of deploying a product that meets desperate needs in developing countries. It is very on brand for us to try lots of different things. Um, we had a prominent figure in aviation uh, stop by the hangar for the day, and he said he felt like he was in a bicycle shop in Dayton, Ohio. I think that that sums up the EV toll industry well. I think there's a lot of people who are high zeal. There's a lot of inspiration, there's a lot of creativity. And I think because there's money involved, there's a lot of rashness and there's not a lot of discernment when it comes to what's the actual application, what's the actual mission. It's an artist's um, exercise and we're trying to make it not that. And Node One is the place where we also gain the knowledge. So as we like look at all of these different EV VTOLs that are out there and can pick apart and talk through like, well, this won't work, this won't work, this will work. We found success here. We look at our own design and say, this is great. We kind of change this, 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 and this is because we're, we're trying to take something that is this artistic idea, this hope, this high zeal, and get the knowledge by multiple iterations, by figuring things out in the bicycle shop of Node 1. Um, so we actually have knowledge to back that deal. And once those two things are combined, that's when change happens. And that's what Node 1 is. It's a place for that knowledge that exists within aviation that no one has discovered yet. It's like the ultimate discovery. We didn't realize that the, the new adventure, the adventure of our age, isn't geographical, it's intellectual. Um, in that we're making a home for that knowledge here at, at Node 1. It's gonna be a wild ride. Mm -hmm.